Hello, my name is Alex Bailey. I'm going to be doing a video on how to live stream a musical performance. I have already done one of these videos and this is an update to that video addressing some of the frequently asked questions I got in the comments and sort of changing some things that I have now learned along the way. Actually, a lot of the things have actually also been suggested in the comments um, that I've changed. I'm also gonna address some issues that people have been having, some pitfalls of this method. There is one pitfall that a lot of people have been falling into on the audio MIDI setup, which is really easy to get around, which I will outline soon. So it's gonna be a long video, uh, but I'll split it into chapters so you can skip ahead to the section that you most need. So I'm gonna be covering so how we do the audio minute set, set up, all the programs you need to download, how you can use your iPhone as a camera. Um, I'm going to have make two templates for Ableton and Logic and show you how to do the routing so you can go out of Logic Ableton um, into Black Hole and into OBS. And I'll show you how to, you know, as long as you know how to record into an audio interface, the rest of it, I'll show you how to do very easily. Um, the frequently asked questions that I've been getting is so setting up a software instrument so you can play using a software instrument inside Logic, setting audio up audio inputs, which I'll talk about, the bus routing, uh, which is how we get into OBS, which I've already talked about, playing over backing tracks. A lot of people have asked for that, so I'm going to talk about that. I'm probably just going to do it using a drum beat because it's just a bit easier, but the same method would apply to you if you were playing over a backing track that you've got downloaded. I'm probably not going to go into how you would do it off um, using uh, like YouTube or iTunes because I. I don't know, I'm, there probably is a way to do it, but I, I'm not 100% sure uh, how to do that. Um, also, then I'm gonna go into offsetting the audio, so you, your video and audio is synced up in OBS, and then hopefully synced up when it gets to the other end of your stream uh, on YouTube. Um, uh, using multi-angles as well, uh, which is a little bit of a bonus at the end. Um, but yeah, so my name's Alex Bailey, as I said. I'm actually a singer-songwriter based in London. Uh, I'll put some links to my music. Uh, I recently did, did, I released my debut album in October of last year. So I actually have, a, you see the boxes behind me to that side is 250 vinyl that I've been trying to sell of my album. So if you wanna support me, you can try, you can stream that on YouTube, that'd be amazing. Um, but let's get into it, that's not why you're here. Let's get into how we do uh, set up OBS for a live music performance. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is go to this OBS website, which is in the, uh, in the description below. Click on whichever operating system you're using. I'm using Mac. This video is probably gonna be more geared up towards people using Logic and uh, OBS on a Mac. Um, and Ableton, I'll do a little bit of an Ableton video in the middle as well, talking about the routing there. Um, so download this, it's super easy to install. I mean, um, the next piece of software we are gonna need is um, Black Hole. Now, in the first video, I said to use Soundflower, but a lot of people have got back to me and said, actually, Black Hole's a lot better. It's an open source piece of software, um, and you can get it from this link here, which I'll also put in the video. You put uh, your details in and then you get a download link to your email. And again, just install that. I won't show you how to do it. It's super simple and it will just work. Okay, so that shouldn't have an issue. The Soundflower link that I had before, it was pretty hard to use actually. And a lot of people got run into issues with that straight away off the bat. So Black Hole, I think seems to be a lot more reliable. I haven't actually used it yet, but I'm imagining it's gonna work fine but we're about to find out as I do this video. Okay, great, so we've got those two bits of software. Now the other bit of software that I have been using for live streaming is the OBS camera, um, which turns your iPhone into a camera. I'm actually using that for the third angle here. And I'm gonna talk about how you can use multiple angles in your streams. So I've actually got one angle here, which is on me at the front, which is a Logitech C920 camera. Um, the picture is great on this. It literally just arrived in the post this morning, which was perfect timing. <laughs> Um, so download this and install it if you want to. Uh, you just have to follow the instructions on how to do it. It's a you know you've got to install it on your phone and then install it on your computer. And once that's done, you can basically set it up with OBS. But there's videos online on how to use this um, camera. So I'm not going to go into too much detail about it. I'm just more geared up towards getting your slick audio setup sorted. Okay, so 
first things first this is where a lot of people fell down on the last video and it wasn't necessarily your fault it's this annoying little thing in audio MIDI setup on a Mac right so the first thing we're going to do creates an aggregate device so you create an aggregate device by clicking on this little plus icon down the bottom click on the plus create aggregate device you can name it I'm gonna name it black blackbird and oh, actually probably plus black hole because that's the two things I'm going to be using. Now you will probably have a different audio interface to me than me. I've got an Onyx Firewire and a pre Sonus Firebox. So you might have a focus right, you might have an M audio thing. The audio interface that you're using is how you get audio from your mic into your computer. So you might be plugged in by USB or Firewire or Thunderbolt. You might have a Universal Audio Apollo. Um, so you can just click on whatever one of those you need. So for me, it's the Onyx Firewire. Now, this is the issue that a lot of people are having. If you look up here, you can see that it says sub devices, Onyx Firewire, input channels, and then it says output channels. You can't actually see your output channels without pulling this down. This is where a lot of you had issues. I did a few calls with people talking about this issue and it, this is where they fell down on setting it up. So just make sure you pull this down, pull this down. I'm going to say it loads and loads and loads and loads of times so you remember to pull that down. Because if you don't, you won't know what the output of black hole is. Then you click on black hole and you can see it's up here, Onyx Firewire, black hole. It's added a load of inputs and a load of outputs to this aggregate device. The main ones you need to remember are the first two outputs of black hole down here. So for me, it's 19 and 20. If I was using my pre as Firebox, it would be uh, also 19 and 20. This number could be 17 and 18. It could be three and four. It could be five and six. As long it's, as it's higher than three and four, you are all good. Okay, so we've got that set up which is good uh, let's go to logic okay so we're gonna the next thing you want to do is open up logic so once you've opened up logic um, you want to go down to the description in this video and download the template that I have made it will look something like this open oh actually let's go uh, OBS template so just open wherever that is open it will look something like this I've created a couple of channels and I'll go into more detail about what these channels are going to be used for once we've got the routing sorted out from logic to OBS okay so once we've opened up logic just ignore these for now go to logic pro then preferences then audio and you want to gonna want to select your aggregate device that you made so I'm called mine blackbird plus black hole so select that it's all selected which is great and then we're going to want to go to do, 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 do. also on this audio preferences it's important that you try and keep your buffer size as low as possible because this will stop the time delay between the audio going into logic through black hole and over to OBS okay the next thing we need to do is create root the audio from uh, our inputs to OBS so I'm going to select all the inputs that I've got here which is you know my backing track my drum track bass acoustic Nord electric vocal not that I'd even be able to play them all at the same time but this is just in case you want to do it with a you know a band or or you want to do like live looping or something with logic you want to send all those to bus one it's going to create a new auxiliary track for, for bus one here you can see that there I'm going to rename this mix. Now, on we're on the output of um, output of the mix channel. So where it says currently says stereo out, I'm going to change that to bus two. And then you're also going to want to create one more uh, auxiliary track. So go up to options, create auxiliary track, and you're going to change that. To the input of that to bus 2 as well 
Okay, now this we're going to name the name the auxiliary two channel here. We're going to name it um, output. That's just what we're going to use for monitoring in logic. And then we're going to name the other one black hole or OBS. And then where it says on stereo output on the um, black hole uh, auxiliary, we're going to change that to. 19 and 20, which was our outputs on our audio interface. Now, the simple setup and way to do this is make sure you've got all those faders turned up as well. So you just do that by pressing Alt and clicking on the fader. So my acoustic's gonna be coming in on input two. I'm actually gonna change that to input A and just DI it an acoustic. So this is all set up now in Logic. So next thing we need to do is go over to minimize this. We're going to go over to OBS. Now my OBS is going to look different to yours way when you load it up because obviously I'm recording with it right now. So we open up OBS. This square here will just be all blank. Okay, it won't have obviously this all set up. Um, you need to go to get this kind of thing set up here or any input source or any video. You need to go to sources and click on this plus icon down here. So we click the plus. Um, let's just set up a video capture device first. So for me, it's gonna be my C920. I'll just call it camera two for now. And let's just select my webcam and then you can suddenly see me uh, and there I am, but well, I'm not going to do this. You just press OK then and it would come on. I'm just going to cancel that. So we're back to our OBS. Now we need to set up our audio input from Logic. So let's click plus, black hole, call, call it, it black hole, and, and then, then select black, black hole, hole 16, 16 channel. channel. Click, click OK. okay. And then and you, then can, you can suddenly see, see all, all the audio, audio from, from uh, uh, Logic, Logic coming, coming in, in on, on black, black hole. hole. Let's, let's just, just turn my... my audio down here so now we're, all we're listening to is the audio from logic hello so now all you can hear is the audio coming in from logic and you should be able to hear my guitar as well and this is basically it you're set, you're ready to do a live stream so I'm gonna just copy black hole over to my uh, Let's copy it over to this camera. So.